Marines, Fayot here, and today we are remodding the Ballista Flechette. I got a request from a viewer because it seems I haven't touched this beast since the game came out. And that's a real shame because if you've been watching my stuff, especially the streams, you know that I consider the Ballista Flechette the ultimate sniper rifle in this game. Hits like a truck, excellent critical multiplier, and overall, excellent consistency. So, we're gonna do it like we always do, I'm gonna start with the gun vanilla and then I'm gonna mod it and explain to you why I mod it the way I mod it. Before I say mod it again, let's get to it. So, X46 Ballista Flechette Rifle, Sniper Rifle Single Shot, Damage of 840, Reload Time of 210, Max Ammo of 78, Stumble Chance of 100%, Fire Rate of 1.5, Magazine Capacity of 6, Weak point damage of 305%, no handling bonus, no damage fall off as you can see. The fact that it is climbing here it has to do with the fact that I have down range, so ignore that. It doesn't have any damage fall off, that's what you should be seeing if you have down range. Gets fire rate, more fire rate and weak point damage from the star upgrades, a 2% fire rate on shot for 3 seconds, stacking 5 times, meaning... 10%. It actually gets 20% fire rate for more its stars combined when this is active, which is pretty insane. Pinpoint accurate over great distances, of course, and stability is nothing to scoff at. Starts at 70. It is almost too good to be true. Like compared to some of the other choices, the flechette is insane. So we're gonna mod it to make it even better. Muzzles. It has the luck of being able to accept large muzzles, which is excellent. That pretty much means you have two awesome choices right off the bat. Anti-material break for stability handling and 25% chance of knockdown, which is great. Or tanker with weak point damage, stumble chance, effective raise and 33% of a stun every 15 seconds on the same target. For me, it will boil down to preference for a lot of the cases, but I'll take tanker because of the weak point damage that adds up to our already insane weak point damage, because of course it's a sniper rifle. And it's a 1 out of 3 bullets chance in this case, although it will not be reapplicable for 15 seconds, whilst the knockdown is a better effect that can be reapplied after 10 seconds. Stability and handling not as crucial for a gun like this as weak point damages, and... Uh, I'm gonna go with Tanker. I'm not saying that it's the one to rule them all. You can always go anti-material, but you know I ultimately give you my optimal suggestion, so Tanker it is. Now, large magazines. Guys, when you see large magazines on precision rifles, uh, for me, armor piercing rounds, like, takes the cake out of the bat. It gives you magazine capacity of 30%, supposedly, but you only get one bullet. Like, okay, whatever. There are other choices here. High impact rounds is a very interesting one because it gives you reload speed, max ammo and added stumble. The added stumble, you don't need that much because it's already over 100%. But if you're talking a gun like this, if you're talking a long range rifle, it doesn't matter if they'll be sliding towards you if you shoot them from a harder yards away. Like they can slide all they want, they'll be dead in a couple of shots. Um... You might want to go for something like Assault, gives you reload speed and fire rate. You have to pace yourself with these rifles, you can just spam it because the reticule grows larger, you'll lose some accuracy, and since we're not going to go for an actual scope, the distance at which you'll be perceiving the enemy and being able to take aim at them is going to be a bit tricky to nail down. Of course, with usage's experience, you will be able to land these shots 100%, but I'm just trying to get your life to be as easy and comfortable as possible. So, armor piercing rounds for me is great. It's a hard-hitting gun. You want it to kill the biggies with, and this will kill the biggies, and it will kill them before they get too close if you have clear lines of sight. So, armor piercing rounds for me is the way to go with this. I insist. Now, for large optics, there is... One great choice here, and that is because we have to take all the scoped ones out of the equation. You don't want to be scoped in this game, like ever, never, ever. If we get a well and Yudani campaign down road and we have to fight since from 300 meters away, 
yeah grab a scope then it will be game changer it will totally differentiate itself from the rest of the game that goes for maybe for evacuate as well but still evacuate the the clearest and longest line of sight that you'll have is where the snipers get perched on the auxiliary hog so it doesn't really help you to have a scope the scope just limits your perception of what's happening around you for me the tactical is the best it says weak point damage 25 percent which is huge zoom magnification without a scope and enemies are revealed for five seconds on weak point hit so if you are running a recon it's like having laser sight pretty much as long as you manage to land a headshot and uh, that will trigger red is dead and give you an additional 10 percent damage for the upcoming shots for five seconds of course every subsequent headshot or crit shot that you will do will refresh it and give you an additional 10 seconds then the reveal effect is applied to every single shot from your entire team and you net 30 percent focus damage on the big e and you're shooting it with anti uh, sorry with armor piercing rounds and uh, you're making it have a very bad day because it's also getting stun every 15 seconds that will be one application trust me because then they'll be dead even on insane good focus fire guys deletes the ultras we know this we've been doing this so after everything is said and done gun will fire something like this i'm gonna just spam it it climbs and climbs and the reticle becomes huge and uncontrollable but if you pace yourself for a millisecond it's totally vertical and if you apply some downward pressure with the stick or the mouse then you can group them just fine also remember that aim assist will gonna pull and magnetize the shot towards the enemy just a tad so you're gonna see better results than what i'm doing right here shooting a wall so guys this is the ballista flesh shit i wanted to get it done refresh it a bit because the old video was well a year old like the guy said sub like and share and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about uploads and streams and if you really want to help me out consider patreon or get a membership on the channel it really helps a lot and streamers have to eat as well until next time be well stay frosty and always have a perfection marines cheers